Welcome everyone to my chest opening stretching session on the ball. I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. Wellness. <laughs> uh, welcome to my session. This is only five minutes, won't take very long. First things first, make sure that you click on that subscribe button so you do not miss a beat. I record uh, short videos like this, a little bit longer ones, and then also full workouts every once in a while too. So I'm doing this session because one, I'm getting a lot of requests for using the ball. And two, it's very common, I don't know about you, but at the end of the day, I, my chest muscles feel really tight. I, everything is done in front of us and um, we just wanna open up those muscles and feel taller and relaxed. I'm doing this on the ball, but it doesn't have to be on the ball. You can use a chair for certain parts of it. You can use the floor. You can even use a BOSU some of the parts too. Let's get started. The ball does not have to be necessarily a perfect height for what we're doing, um, but if it's a ball that you have about a 90 degree angle when you're sitting down, that'd be perfect for you. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to face forward. I have a mat also just because when we get into some of the rolling out, you'll want something for traction. So if your floor or shoes don't help you with that, uh, a mat or something help too. So we're going to start by just sliding back and then opening. We're doing this because, sitting up nice and tall by the way, we want to activate our back muscles, the opposite muscles. Activating those muscles will help open up the chest and the shoulders, the front of the shoulder. That'd be your anterior deltoids. We do have multiple muscles that work at different angles, so we will take care of all of them. Sliding back and open, squeezing those shoulder blades together. This is also helpful for moving and stretching too. Last one. Good, release, shake it out. All right, we're gonna get right into so what you're gonna do, I'm gonna be angled so that you can see me, but you're gonna walk yourself out until your shoulders, whoop, <laughs> falling on the ball is a risk, but luckily you're already close to the floor. You're going to have, make sure that your head is comfortable on the ball and your shoulders are on the ball and then hips are up, toes are forward. So we're gonna start with the arms straight up and you're just gonna open them out wide. It's just the basic elbows relaxed. Good, coming up. And then you're gonna bring your hands just up over your head, just a little bit, just a tiny movement. Now open up again. So we're just a tiny bit higher towards our head, but we're still out wide. Okay, come back up again. And a little bit further over your head and open. So now we're gonna start feeling this in the chest. Good, and back together. So this is just kind of nice and easy to start with. We're gonna get deeper into those stretches in a moment. So just kind of easing into it. You don't wanna go into those deep stretches right away. Cause go ahead and bring your hands back together. Overhead, turn your palms up and then drop down. You don't wanna go all out right away because those muscles will contract and hold on. They're gonna do a fight or flight. We don't want them to do that. We want them to relax. Okay, come back together. Okay, you can sit back just a little bit more if you want to, and then you're gonna open those arms again. And this time, let the arms fall even more. Inhale, exhale. Now keeping your arms out wide, you're going to bring them up slowly towards your head, just a little bit at a time. Feel that through the chest and the shoulders. And as we move, you're gonna feel that stretch and change focus. And when you do that, you may find a spot where like, oh, yep, that's it. And you may have to hang out there longer. Go ahead and bring those arms towards your head a little bit more. Again, you're out wide still. You're not lifting up towards the sky. You're going to swing towards your head. 
Whew. Get that right into the shoulders. Okay, go a little higher. Inhale. Exhale. A little bit more. Ah, keep breathing. Good, relax, bring those arms down and by your sides. You're gonna tuck your chin in and then we're gonna roll onto the side. Now use the ball so you don't fall off. You're gonna roll to the side, everything turns to the side. I love how my ball always squeaks. You can even drop a knee if you need to. What we're gonna do is bring your arms straight up and over or straight up to the sky, not up and over. We'll do that in a second. But you're gonna bring yourself up and onto the ball a little bit more and then push out and open. Come back, bring it over your head, push back and open, and back up. Over your head a little more, and back. Straight back up again. All right, now this time up and over, and lift up and over. Create that arch, so use the ball, and then push your arm back, so that's where you're gonna get into the shoulder even more. So you are gonna feel your lats and your obliques with this one. I want you to push the arm back, and get into the shoulder and chest too. Deep breath in and exhale. Good. Now keep your body in position, bring your arm up. Now open. Tiny bend in the elbow, fingers spread, reaching as far as you can, inhale. And exhale. Release and come down and we're just gonna switch sides. You can just roll on over to the other side. I'm gonna switch the other side just because that way you can see me if needed. And you're just gonna roll onto the ball. Again, you can have one knee down if needed. Arms straight up to the sky. You can hug the ball or be on the floor. And then open, release. A little further up, open, release, up and over, open, release, a little more, open. So you feel that change in angle just a little bit more. All right, release, now up and over, and curve with the ball. You can put your hand on the floor. Push the arm back though now, up and over and push the back. So you're gonna feel that still into the shoulder. Keep breathing. Good. Bring the arm straight up, open wide. Inhale. and release, good, and come on down. We don't need to use this with the ball, but you're just going to rock your head side to side. I always like to finish with something like this, just because we do tend to get tight in the neck easily. We strain our neck and shoulders without realizing it. Turn your head side to side, it's just kind of loosening them up. Plus, those muscles are connected to your shoulders. You may not realize how tight you are from there, too. And release. Deep breath in. And exhale. Let's do that one more time. Stay with me. And exhale. Great job, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a little picture of me there. And then I'm clinking a video of a full body stretch if you want to get more into the ball. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you back again. Bye.